This Ask Energy question comes from Ashley, and she wants to know what the difference is between a low-carb, high-fat diet and a ketogenic diet. Okay, great question, Ashley. Glad you asked that because there is a little bit of differences when it comes to these. And I kind of feel like a lot of people just lump it all into one, like, oh, I'm following keto, which they think is low carb, high fat or whatever. So there is a clear distinction. And that really comes down to how many carbohydrates you are consuming. So let me jump into that. A ketogenic diet is a diet that is extremely restrictive for carbohydrates. In fact, most people will restrict their carbohydrates to under 20 grams a day. That is pretty much like less than a banana a day, right? That is that is like the true ketogenic diet. Now, however, there is some wiggle room there because depending on how your body responds to carbohydrates, you could actually eat all the way up to 50 grams per day. So you might actually hear the ketogenic diet being referred to as a 20 to 50 grams of carbohydrate per day diet. Okay, now, one more thing before I get off on that topic. To truly be in ketosis, you need to be sure that you are actually in ketosis. So you can follow a ketogenic diet, but you don't know how many carbohydrates will actually induce ketosis in your specific body. And that is why having a ketone meter a blood ketone meter to be exact, where you just prick your finger, a little drop of blood. Um, you, if the more you can actually measure your blood ketones, once you do drop your carbohydrates quite significantly, the better you are able to customize how many carbohydrates it takes to get into a state of ketosis. Okay, so that's the ketogenic diet. Now, low carb, high fat is a lot different because there is no true technical definition of low carb, high fat. There just isn't, right? So what it, maybe I eat 300 grams of carbohydrate per day, and then I go on a 200 gram per day diet. Well, that technically is a low carb diet, right? Because you are lowering your carbohydrates. However, this is where a lot of people get a little messy with this. Low carb, high fat means you reduce your carbohydrates while increasing your fat intake at the same time. So if you think of this as like a teeter totter, the three main macronutrients, carbohydrate, protein, and fat, the fulcrum of the teeter totter is protein, right? You find the amount of protein that you need per day and you keep it there for the most part, right? That doesn't change that much. Now on either side of the teeter totter is carbohydrate and fat. So as carbohydrates go down, fat has to come up. And as fat comes down, carbohydrates have to go up for the most part, if we're talking in this model. By following a low carb, high fat diet, you need to reduce your carbohydrates and increase your fat at the same time, or else you're gonna be super hungry and you're gonna be wondering why this isn't working for whatever reason. Now, here's the thing with low carb, high fat, like I alluded to in the beginning you can reduce your carbohydrates. And in fact, you should periodize your carbohydrates throughout your training year, based on your exercise, based on your training, based on your training cycle and competitive events, you should already be periodizing your carbohydrates. So I kind of I kind of think of like the low carb, high fat is really not true to the nature of low carb, high fat, right? In my mind, it's like ketogenic and then using metabolic efficiency training and periodizing your carbohydrates throughout the year, right? That's kind of where most of us should land because by following a metabolic efficiency training plan, not a diet, that allows you to adjust your carbohydrate, protein, and fat intake based on your needs from a health and performance perspective. Whereas a ketogenic diet just jumps right into the slamming carbohydrate near the ground, like as, as few grams as possible, and by the way, yes, you have to increase your fat intake quite substantially on a ketogenic diet. So back to the whole question, what's the difference? Well, ketogenic diet is very restrictive carbohydrate, usually 20, under 20 grams of carbohydrate per day, but it could go up to 50 grams, remember? Um, and low carb, high fat, it's pretty ambiguous, right? It can be 200 grams a day, it could be 100 grams a day, it could be 60 grams a day. It's just lower than what you're already doing. But again, my argument is, do you really need to do LCHF or low carb, high fat, or should you just be following a more metabolically efficient plan, nutrition plan to support your health, longevity, and training goals? Okay, more for that is in my new book, my new edition of the book. I've got a little section on ketogenic diets uh, with intermittent fasting, by the way. So 
Ashley, thank you so much for asking that question. Hopefully that gives you some good content and some good education.